Meditation in Action It would have been much better if, if I could have learned to meditate in action early on, doing at least some of whatever I have to do in a normal day. You know, take a page from the Zen practitioners and use whatever we have to do as a form of meditation. Of course, that's easier said than done. Before you can have meditation in action, you have to have meditation. It's, an, it's a hard case of, of the old Catch-22, finding the time in a quiet place to just sit. In my experience, meditation is one of the first things to cross off my schedule on a busy day. It's, you know, I'm just the supreme delinquent. I always have a million reasons why waiting until tomorrow to meditate actually makes a lot of sense. And of course, in the long run, it doesn't. And I, I learned to meditate in the you know traditional way, sitting on the cushion. No, it was not intuitive for me. And I had, I don't know, I guess pretty great difficulty applying myself. I would tend to just sit and wait out the time, but not actually do or learn much of anything. Well, maybe something. And it's not that I can't concentrate because I'm a fierce concentrator. I do it for a living. I'm a, systems programmer and all kinds of stuff like that that takes really exact concentration. It's more like that I probably have some weird and stubborn learning disorder when it comes to applying myself abstractly. I'm, I know that I'm hard to teach and that I learn best from just doing, using real life examples and medica meditation is a, a case in point. If I had been able to learn meditation by concentrating on a real-world task, something that I already knew, things might have progressed more rapidly. And I'm amazed at how many folks are, are sitting in meditation, perhaps, but also not able to, to progress much in meditation. And I certainly was a case in point. Meditation is a way to hone our mind to a really brilliant point, but it needs a stable mind as a starting point. I admit that I seem to have a problem learning anything by rote. Tell me the steps I should take, and I, I will usually manage to screw them up, you know, ignore them, or ignore enough of what's important about them so that I just don't quite get it. But give me a hands-on example in the real world, and I will ace it. Does it help to tell you that I got all A's in geometry, in geometry, but I had to take Algebra 1 three times? They finally just passed me with the D to get me out of the class. I'd been there three semesters. Meditation was also something, something that I could just not quite get the hang of. And the goal of all med meditation, or any meditation, is simply greater awareness. But the path to, to that awareness is necessarily a two-step process, learning first to concentrate, to be mindful, and only when that is perfected, developing insight into the nature of the mind and how it works itself. Many, if not most of us, don't make it through that first step, you know, just becoming mindful. M mindfulness and concentration in itself are valuable. But most would agree that the rewards of insight meditation, vipassana, the second step, are so great that they become self-propelling. Once awakened to insight meditation, there's no going back. But until then, it's very easy to go back or, or just not to progress at all, which is the same thing. Mm -hmm.